2014 and a new debate to the front runners in the race for governor. In fact, a new poll by the Boston Globe has Martha Coakley and Charlie Baker in a dead heat. Our Liam Martin was there as the candidates traded jabs at UMass Dartmouth. Martha Coakley knew about mismanagement. After weeks of attack Coakley ads and a statistical tie in the latest polls, Martha Coakley and Charlie Baker were decidedly cautious, even cordial Friday afternoon. I'm going to surprise you all and say I agree with something the AG just said. And thank you, Charlie, for mentioning our health care studies. But the candidates did spar at times, Coakley painting Baker as a flip flopper on the proposed South Coast Rail project. And I would ask Charlie to address he clearly did not support it last time he ran for governor. And I believe that if you really do support it, you have to show how you're going to pay for it. I was always concerned about the, uh, the permitting issue associated with the Hockamock Swamp. And once the Army Corps of Engineers signed off on that, um, I thought the project had a, had a real chance to be successful. Baker, meantime, hit Coakley on her support for a law that indexes the gas tax to inflation. What I do have a problem with is this idea that any tax should just go up every single year forever automatically. It is a predictable way of ensuring income that we can depend upon to fix those roads and bridges. Coakley on the indexing point and others charge that Baker's anti-tax approach would lead to budget deficits as he wants to expand the earned income tax credit and improve education without raising taxes. That sounds like a little bit of fuzzy mouth to me. Massachusetts has a 38 billion dollar budget. Um, we have plenty of opportunity uh, to think differently and to form the way we do business. And both candidates said a top priority of their administrations would be reducing income inequality. Baker hoping to distance himself from more conservative Republicans and perhaps pick up some of those undecideds and independents. Leah Martin, WCVB News Center 5.